Hi, this week I thought I'd demonstrate a drum from my collection. This is an Albert E.S. Ehlers snare drum from anywhere probably 1920s to 1930s. And uh, the reason I brought this drum out this week is because this week with the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra, I'm playing the Shostakovich First Symphony. Very fun snare drum part, rather challenging. So I thought I'd do some practicing in that style and I'd get out this book, the Nard book. National Association of Rudimental Drummers. Yes, a staple of the repertoire. And um, I figured I'd do some practicing in this book. And when I got the book out, I remembered that it had this solo in it, The Rhode Island Drummer. And The Rhode Island Drummer is written by none other than Albert E.S. Ehlers. Now, uh, I lived in Providence for many years, Providence, Rhode Island, and I bought this drum when I lived there. And uh, I studied with a man, George Gonaconto, who actually knew Albert E.S. Ehlers. I'm sure he was an old man by then. But anyway, I thought it would be a fitting tribute to play the Rhode Island drummer on a snare drum that Albert E.S. Ehlers made himself. I'll move back a little bit because this gets loud. <laughs> anyway, I'm using traditional grip. This is a real skinhead 16-inch drum, and uh, it's uh, rather challenging to play. Short but challenging. Albert E.S. Ehlers. Bye for now. And uh, if you ever come across one of these, let me know. I'll buy it. <laughs>